Okay, perfect. So we're starting? Cool. Alright, so I thought, basically, I was going to do a whole amp sim thing. So I might as well just turn it into a whole series. So we're going to do a whole series now. And I'm going to start this one off um, with probably one of the harder different sounds to get from the Logic Amp Sim, and it is a high gain metal tone, and I'm going to be using my Ibanez here with DeMarcio pickups. Alright, so let's go in to Logic. The Logic Amp Sim is not great with tube distortion, specifically. <laughs> Some of these heads aren't too bad, but like... It's just very little... I don't know. You could, it just, you'd sound, it, it feels like the computer's just deciding when to distort. It's just not the same sort of like, I don't know, dynamics that you get from like tube. Even the same dynamics that you get from like a transistor circuit. Okay. So here I'm just plugged straight into the interface. So guitar, cable, right into the focus, right 2i2. And that is just the dry sound. Now you'll see that I have obviously the channel all set up and I have to start things off just a gain plug-in doing absolutely nothing except going from mono to stereo and I'm doing that just so we can turn our amp simulator on to dual mono and that'll make sense later but let's get right into it Right away, you're going to have to turn couple on. It probably won't be on automatically. And we are in our amp simulator. Okay. So if you're not familiar with the amp simulator, you can play with all the different amp heads and cabinets and go through just the typical presets and setups. Um, yeah, they have a huge library, different Marshalls, Fenders, um, what do we got here? A high watt. We're going to go with this, a Mesa Boogie. Woo! So, right away, you notice again we have the Mesa Boogie head, cabinet, and then what we can do, I like to basically, I'm probably going to keep this cabinet, but let's play with some other ones just to find the tone that we want. Basically, the best method that I've found to go through and find the tone that you really want to use in the best tone possible is to start with the head that you want and just go with the matched pair and then change out the speaker to what you want and then go through and dial in the settings and then yeah pretty much go through how we're going to go through and you should be set so we have our high gain mesa boogie dual rectifier head <laughs> And this is a Fender 112 410. You can choose anything from Marshalls. That's the Mesa Boogie one again. Where is it? Here we go. So, first off, I'm going to turn that reverb off. Let's just stick with the Mesa Boogie 412. We can get that 
classic V30 sound that everybody goes for. Alright, so before I even start messing with the EQ, we'll stick with the modern, but those start, you can hear a difference more the more you play with the EQ. What we'll do is set all these to about 12. That's as much as possible the natural voicing of the plugin. All right, and then we'll kind of we'll roll the bass back a little bit, roll the mids back a good bit. Get a little bit more of a modern sound. Let's roll the treble up, see what that does. All right, presence. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Roll the mids up just so slightly. Let's try again with these. Rumble back down. Try again with those mids. There's some bite in there. It's definitely not. No, it's, it's it's definitely not a dual rectifier sound. <laughs> Let's roll with it. That's all right. Bit more presence. Tiny bit more gain. I like it. Okay. Okay, so now we get to choose where the microphone sits on the speaker. Okay, so as you can kind of hear, when we're right up in the front of it, it really focuses on one specific part of the speaker. In the middle, that's very bitey and harsh on the outside. It's very kind of like dull and mellow. And then we can kind of buy ourselves a little bit more coloration in a way just by kind of buying some distance and letting the sound develop as it comes away from the speaker into the microphone. Get a little bit more of the sound here. We'll roll out. So we're kind of in line with kind of the edge of the cap there. Then we'll roll with that. Then we get to pick the type of the microphone. That's that's a that's an angry tone. Okay, here we go. No. And that's the sound that everybody's used to. Even if it's not exactly the sound. <laughs> all right, all right. 
right. So usually we wouldn't use a ribbon mic to do metal tones, especially. Uh, but what we are going to do is decouple that, and we're going to use that ribbon mic as our dark microphone. And then in the right channel, we're going to do the same thing. Maybe give ourselves a little bit more brightness towards the center of the speaker, a little bit more direct sound. And then let's try the 57 on this side. And suddenly the sound kind of comes back to life in a way. Um, what else can we do? Let's recouple that so it stays the same. And then, just for fun, we're going to take that same signal and it's split very wide there. See what happens if we just mono it now. Okay, okay. we are going to leave those combined back together. So basically, the general method, because you're going to have a mono signal coming in, unless you're coming from, like I, my uh, GT100 pedal, I can come in in stereo, but that's because it's already splitting the signal. Uh, no matter what, the guitar, unless you have a super fancy-ass guitar, is going to come in in mono. Um, and then basically, you use the first gain plug-in to split it into stereo. You use the amp then in dual mono mode to set the left, right channel. Use different microphones. You can use different cabinets if you want. Let's see what happens if we use, let's use the Marshall 412 on the other side. Definitely some bite there. Oh, I have it coupled still. <laughs> All right. So here. We'll keep the right side as the Mesa one. Decouple that. We'll switch the other side then to that Marshall cab. Okay. I like that. I like it. Couple those back together. So you can see here, two different cabinets. So we get two different speakers on with two different microphones. Very different sounds there. Otherwise, it's exactly the same settings between the two. Same cabinet, or uh, same head, two different cabinets, two different microphones. Thank <laughs> you.